Well, I'm Cameron Wallstrom here at the Wilson Research Extension Center, a research agronomy research specialist, and I'm going to talk some on our variety trials here at Williston. Uh, we got about 14 different crops we're growing, um, ranging from your typical small grains of spring wheat, winter wheat, durum, barley, oats. Um, for our barley trials, we have both forage, feed, and malt barley. Um, for our broadleafs, we're growing chickpeas, um, lentils, field peas, sunflowers. We're also growing conventional and Roundup Ready soybeans. Um, we're growing some hemp this year, trying that since that's starting to come out more in North Dakota and just get a feel. We've been getting a lot of phone calls on hemp and about how it grows and taking management practices and stuff. Um, we work with a lot of collaborators from across the country and state. Uh, we work with CCAN out of Canada, Malt Europe, and they work also out of Australia. And then we work with the University of Minnesota, uh, Montana State University, South Dakota State University. So we work with quite a few different um, entities and private companies for corn, soybeans, and small grains. Some of uh, our more focused varieties that we're uh, looking at and stuff and that we sell here as foundation seed is ND Rivlin and ND Grano for Derm. They're two of the newer NDSU Derm releases, both low cadmium, really high um, quality, high yields. Um, they uh, also have the best about disease package for D Derm varieties. Um, for some spring wheats, uh, some that we're selling here is uh, Elgin, Lanning, ND Vitpro, and Bulls. Um, Lanning's a newer one out of Montana State University that has a stay green, it's called, um, genetics in it, and it's for uh, the leaves stay greener longer, and that's supposed to help for drought stress, and so we'll really see this year if it, how it proves out compared against the other varieties with our lack of moisture. Um, we also have ND, ND Vitpro and Bulls, which are really uh, hard vitreous kernels and high in protein and then elgin's always a top yielder and for yield test weight and uh, protein but we got we're working with ndsu for the nd 1709 gt soybeans where it's a glyphosate resistant soybeans where um, farmers can actually keep the seed over and grow it back themselves and sell it as a foundation or registered class of seed and then we're also working on and trying out a lime study this year with uh, two varieties of spring wheat, um, Lanning and Reeder, and two varieties of Durham, Rivland, and Montreal. And what we're doing there is we have three different rates of um, lime that we're putting down with the seed, like a, almost like you would a starter fertilizer, to see if on low pH soils, if that can help bring the pH up enough around the seed where it's not nearly as affected as much with the lower pHs. Um, and with that, I guess two other varieties I'll just touch base on is for winter wheat varieties for guys looking at planting possibly some winter wheat this fall. And that'd be um, Ray, which is a one out of Montana State. It's an onless um, hard red winter wheat and it's a dual purpose for forage and for grain. It competes very well with other varieties and high yielder. And then there's also 406, which is a new variety out of Montana State. And that one's a replacement for the elder Yellowstone variety. And it's a really good quality winter wheat and good straw strength and just a good variety all around. Mm -hmm.